Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Britain to be roped into EU rescue aid for Greece Tax rises in France have reached fatal levels, warns EU official We need more Australian immigrants Boris says UK has betrayed the Commonwealth by joining the EU European Union puts Sting into beekeeping project plus protection of the EU's financial interests fighting against fraud. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First up from our homepage. The European Commission is planning use of EU budget funds for the rescue of Greece, roping Britain into future responsibility for shoring up the Eurozone currency structure. Now, The mainstream media has been reporting, as usual, that this latest bailout will solve the problem for Greece. What a load of tripe! If the previous two substantial bailouts have only served to increase the bottom line debt burden for Greece, then surely it must be clear to anyone with half a brain that pouring good money after bad will not solve the problem. Indeed, the article goes on to report that Angela Merkel already reported back home that further financial assistance is likely for Greece in 2014. Yet, last week, we were all being told the crisis was over, growth had returned and the EU was out of the recession. <laughs> really? Does any one of these babbling Bruswellian brainiacs actually have an economic clue? <music> Tax increases imposed by the socialist-led government in France have reached a fatal level, the European Union's Commissioner for Economic Affairs has said. Olly Wren warned that a series of tax hikes since the Socialists took power 14 months ago, including £33 billion in new taxes this year, threatens to destroy growth and handicap the creation of jobs. I just despair. Look, there is a simple principle in the Keynesian economic model. That is, that you must maintain a flow of available and disposable income in the consumer sector. Conversely, that means every time you increase the tax burden, you reduce available income, so the people spend less. Right, so let's follow this through. If the folks spend less, the private sector revenues reduce, which means private sector tax takes reduce. So the policy of tax increases is simply chasing the tail on the dog. Now don't misunderstand me, there is a lot wrong with the Keynesian economic model, but heaven's sake, if you're going to be a finance minister, at least try to find out a basic understanding of the economic model you're working with. <music> Boris Johnson says Britain betrayed the Commonwealth by joining the European Union and should intensify ties with countries such as Australia. In a provocative newspaper article, the London Mayor said the UK must distance itself from Europe and seek a wider destiny for our country further afield. Well, Boris is showing a sensible approach to the economic problem of the UK, and certainly we have long-standing relations with many nations around the globe that are outside of the EU. It is vital for the UK that we get trade negotiations started on a global level. Personally, I believe that the EU will not recover from its economic problems in its current guise. Indeed, successful nations such as Germany and France are getting pulled down with the sinking EU ship. Sadly, the kleptocrats refuse to step outside their parliament building and look up at the incoming economic asteroid. The European Union, EU has allocated just over $1.2 million in grant funds for the Step Up 2013 Sweet Paradise expansion project, now underway in Greater Brownstown community in the corporate area. The project is providing training to 16 youths for the area in the art of beekeeping and honey production. Now this proves that the lunatics have taken over the asylum. $1.2 million divided across these 16 youths is $75,000 each. <laughs> Come on, you're having a laugh. It does not cost $75,000 to train someone to keep bees. In our legislation section, we have the foundation stones being set down for a harmonised Europe-wide taxation system. 
The overbearing issue being tackled is fraud and evasion. But let me assure you, this legislative document will be used to support the initiatives and directives that will lead to a single EU-wide taxation system. Now, what does that mean, and why is it important? Well, in a nutshell, such a tax system would erase national governments, as their individual treasuries would have no ability to raise funds. Survival would be at the discretion of EU supporting funds. And as Rothschild said, give me control over a country's money supply, and I care not who makes the laws. This article is essential background reading, and I will relate it to the forthcoming legislation in due course. Today, in our video library, we have the official EU press conference where Baroness Catherine Ashton makes a clear statement of intent with regard to the chemical attacks in Syria. During her speech, she makes this statement. Information from a wide variety of sources confirms the existence of such an attack and seems to indicate strong evidence that the Syrian regime is responsible this attack, as it is the only one that possesses chemical weapons agents and the means of their delivery in a sufficient quantity. Now, that is a clever use of wording. And why? Well, because there is no evidence that the Syrian government actioned this attack. Having strong evidence and having information which seems to indicate strong evidence are two totally different things. This rhetoric is not at all helpful, and we are seeing senior EU figures lending support to what is a unilateral attack on Syria by the USA. Furthermore, there is no public support for such action, and whilst Miss Ashton speaks of taking action... A clear and strong response is crucial to make clear that such crimes are unacceptable and that there can be no impunity. Well, in whose name? The time has come, friends, to stand up and speak out. In the UK Parliament, Chairman Cameron's call to arms was quashed, but our forces could well be leveraged into this act of war via the EU and a joint forces strike. The layers of control and tyranny are stacked like Jacob's ladder. I urge you, do not sit back and watch. Email your MEP, share this video, tweet, Google+, Facebook, protest, and most importantly, share what you know with others. Because, friends, knowledge is power. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.